Hello, welcome to our new unit on Earth History. Our unit is Earth History, and our topic today is geologic time. Okay, so geologic means Earth, right? So please write the unit and the topic down. Objectives, day one of three, you will know the major geologic events that have transformed our Earth today. And you will know the geologic time scale and its major divisions. Okay, so go ahead and pause this while you write this stuff down. I'm going to move on. Okay, for your quick write, for five easy points, what do you think a mass extinction is? If you know what a mass extinction is, what do you think caused them? Considering the age of the Earth, 4.6 billion years old, when do you think life first appeared? Okay, write that down for five easy points. I'm going to move on. Okay, so the geologic time scale is essentially the geologic history of the planet from its formation to today, okay, to the present. It starts with large divisions of time called eons and is subdivided into successively smaller units, such as eras and periods. The geologic time scale is based on dominant life forms and mass extinction events. Okay, so it's subdivided because of the dominant life forms, the animals that dominated our Earth at the time. So here we go. All right, some of the major time areas include the Precambrian. This is when our oceans and atmospheres form. So we have the Precambrian, our oceans and atmospheres are forming. Then we have the Paleozoic, invertebrates, shells, plants, and fish dominate here. And then we have the Mesozoic, pretty much reptiles, the age of reptiles. And then finally we have the Cenozoic, or the age of mammals. Okay, and, and finishing off with man there. Okay, so that's basically it. The Precambrian dominated most of the Earth's time with the formation of our oceans and atmospheres and other things forming. The Paleozoic invertebrates, okay? Plants and fish are the dominant forms of life. And then the Mesozoic and reptiles are the dominant forms of life. And then finally the Cenozoic where mammals are the dominant forms of life, okay? So for your notes, what is the geologic time scale? Question on the left hand side, answer bank on the right, or excuse me, answers on the right hand side, use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence here. I'm going to move on. Please pause this while you write. Okay. Welcome to Earth 4.6 billion years ago. Okay. Well, when it Earth first formed, okay, it was a violent, inhospitable, harsh environment. It wasn't the nicest place to be around. It was covered with volcanoes and meteorites were bombarding our Earth. Okay, and volcanoes spewed out gases. So imagine this clock, 12 o'clock here, 12 hours represents the Earth's time period. Okay, 4.6 billion years ago, Earth forms. Okay, so imagine the Earth's 4.6 billion years ago is equal to 12 hours here. All right, so this is what our planet was like for almost 4 billion years. Hard to believe, but yeah, our Earth was just covered with volcanoes, okay, and it was a nasty, it was a very inhospitable place, okay, we call this time period the Precambrian, but a lot of important things happened during the Precambrian, okay, during the Precambrian our oceans and atmospheres formed, along with other important events, okay, our oceans slowly formed over millions of years as volcanoes released steam, Okay. If you go to any volcano and you look at all these eruptions, okay, one of the gases that comes out of volcanoes is H2O, okay, steam. Steam cooled and condensed into clouds, okay, and these clouds released rain, precipitation, for millions of years. And over time, these, all this rain made our oceans, okay. Another important event during the Precambrian was the appearance of the first single-celled forms of life. About two billion years ago, primitive microscopic single-celled forms of life called phytoplankton began to fill the oceans. It's seen down here. Okay, these are very important creatures. These phytoplankton were very important because they helped create an oxygen-rich atmosphere for life to thrive in. Another gas given off by volcanoes is CO2. Okay, well, phytoplankton loves CO2. These microscopic phytoplankton absorbed CO2 from volcanoes, okay, and through photosynthesis released oxygen 
back into our atmosphere. Well, that's good for us because we need oxygen to live. So these phytoplankton were very important. These single-celled primitive bacteria okay, were very important. They took in CO2 and released oxygen into our atmosphere. Okay. So remember the recipe for photosynthesis. CO2 plus H2O gives us oxygen and carbohydrates. So as oxygen filled our atmosphere, our skies eventually became blue. All right. So that's very important. So how did our atmosphere become rich in oxygen? Question on the left-hand side. Answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank, please, to determine which word best completes the sentence here. I'm going to pause this, or please pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. All right. So major geologic events of the Precambrian era. Okay. So we, 4.5 billion years ago, our moon formed. Okay. 3.8 billion years, our oceans formed, roughly. It wasn't exactly 3.8 billion years ago, but it was a process, okay? 3.5 billion years ago, the first single-celled forms, primitive forms of life form, okay? 2 billion years ago, as these single-celled forms of life became dominant, they released oxygen over 1.5 billion years, and our, we began to get an oxygen-rich atmosphere about 2 billion years ago. 1.3 billion years ago, the first multi-celled forms of life. So we're looking at more complex forms of life, like me and you. Not that complex, but you know. 1.1 billion years ago, the first continent, Rodinia, forms. Okay, so question, what are the major geologic events of the Precambrian era? Okay, question on the left-hand side. The answer here goes on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank, as always, to determine which word best completes the sentence here. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, the Paleozoic Era. So we're up here. Notice this little slice right here, okay? The Paleozoic Era witnessed an explosion of life. With water covering our, li our Earth, okay, these very shallow, they were very shallow oceans or seas, okay, and throughout these seas lived some of the first complex forms of life, invertebrates like shellfish here. We had these things like ammonites, okay, fish and plants became dominant, okay, and some of these other animals like trilobites, okay, like these little, they're like little roly-poly bugs, okay, and other squid-like and trilobites, which are basically squids that live inside of these shells here. Okay, and we got fish and plants, and like I said, trilobites here. So the, this, uh, this explosion of life okay, marked the beginning of the Paleozoic era. So the major geologic events of the Paleozoic era here. Okay, let's take a look here. An explosion of life 570 million years ago. Okay, 536 million years ago, the first fish and invertebrates appear. 513 million years ago, the first land plants, okay? So the first land plants appear. We had continents, remember, now we can have plants. 322 million years ago, the first reptiles appear, okay? And here's the, the kicker. 245 million years ago, a mass extinction. 90% of all life perishes, is gone from the face of the earth. So... The Paleozoic saw the beginning of an explosion of life, and it ended with a mass extinction, Okay, where 90% of all life disappeared from the fossil record here. Okay, so what are the major geologic events of the Paleozoic era? Okay, question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. Pause this while you write, please. I'm going to move on. Okay, the Mesozoic Era. This was the age of reptiles and witnessed the evolution of the largest animals to have ever walked the earth. The animals you guys all love, the dinosaurs, right? The dinosaurs, though, would eventually go extinct and give rise to modern-day birds. However, as we all know, these dinosaurs died out and left a world for other animals to inherit. Might, you might have an idea who that was. So the Mesozoic Era was the age of reptiles, okay? Okay. Let's look more in depth, okay? The dinosaur demise. There is mounting evidence that a large meteorite impact 
slammed into the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago, ending the Cenozoic Era. This impact would have caused widespread devastation and fires, okay? Making our Earth shrouded or covered in smoke here, okay? Ash and smoke from fires could have blocked out enough sunlight, changing the global climate, decimating it and wiping out these cold-blooded reptiles, okay? Filling the smoke, filling our, our airs and our atmospheres with smoke, blocking out sunlight, changing the global climate 65 million years ago. Okay, so major geologic events of the Mesozoic era, okay? 200 million years ago, the first mammals appeared. Okay, 180 million years ago, remember good old Pangaea? It begins to break up from our unit on plate tectonics. So the continent, the supercontinent Pangaea breaks up. Okay. Now the first birds appear. Now notice though I have first mammals here. They're not the dominant forms of life. The little, they were only little small animals. Okay. And then the Mesozoic ends with 60% of all life gone, including the dinosaurs. Mammals were present, okay, but they were just small little mouse-like creatures, okay. The Mesozoic was dominated by dinosaurs. Most of the most of the animals alive during the Mesozoic were reptiles or dinosaurs, okay. So first mammals appear, Pangaea breaks up, the first birds appear in the mass extinction. Dinosaurs gone 65 million years ago, okay. So. For your notes, what are the major geologic events of the Mesozoic era? Okay, notice reptiles dominate. Okay, but there are mammals. They're just not very. They're not very common. Okay, so go ahead and get the question on the left hand side. Answer on the right hand side. Use the answer bank as always to determine which word best completes the sentence here. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, the Cenozoic era. Okay, all right. With dinosaurs gone, mammals would inherit the earth. Okay, and dominate the land. Large mammals thrive, such as horses, mammoths, and primates. Mankind would evolve and inhabit the earth, expanding its population. Many ice ages came and went during the Cenozoic era. These ice ages caused the extinction of many large mammals, like, okay, woolly mammals. Okay, many people don't realize it, but North America had things like camels and other exotic animals that went extinct because of these ice ages. Okay, so the Cenozoic era, the mammals would dominate here. Okay, so let's look at the major Cenozoic era. We live in the Cenozoic era right now. Okay, we are the dominant species, mammals. Okay, 45 million years ago, one of the largest ice ages occurred, covering almost our entire planet of ice. Seven million years ago, the first human ancestors appeared. The first animals that could walk on two legs. Seven million years ago. Okay. 300,000 years ago, modern humans appear. Okay. So, mammals dominate. Okay. Keep that in mind during the Cenozoic era. That is the dominant life form. Mammals. All right. Question on the left-hand side. Answer on the right-hand side. Okay, use the answer bank as always to determine which word best completes the sentence, and you're done with today's notes. Congratulations. Okay, you just got to summarize, and you're done. Pause this while you write, please. Okay, pause this now. I'm going to move on. Okay, so summarize. Oh, you can always write your own. Okay, in fact, I encourage it to look back on your notes and write your own. Or you can always do mine here. List these events in order from oldest to youngest. Okay, they're out of order right here. Put them in order from oldest to youngest. Go ahead and pause this while you look back on your notes and you try to figure these things out. Okay? Go ahead and pause this while you finish your notes, and we'll see you next time.